Hi, I'm Imani of Imani at Home. I'm a DIYer and content creator here in the DC area. I absolutely love peel and stick wallpaper because I'm a renter, but I love to make over my spaces and make them look and feel beautiful. And peel and stick wallpaper is one way that I'm able to bring in some personality and some interest without worrying if I'm gonna stress out my landlord. If you are going to say do a pattern like how I'm doing here that's very straight line focused, um, you definitely want to start off with a level. A lot of people think that like the walls in their homes are straight when more likely than not they aren't. And I just like to draw vertical and horizontal lines on the wall. That way, as I'm moving around the room, I always know that my wallpaper is perfectly straight. The second thing is making sure that you have the right supplies. I always keep a handy roll of painter's tape. Don't use duct tape, don't use masking tape. It's too rough, it's too abrasive. But painter's tape is great, especially if you have like this one from Frog Tape, which is super delicate. This will allow you to hold up your wallpaper and put it in place so that maybe if you need to like relift and move something around, you don't have to shift the top part of the wallpaper, you can just shift the bottom part. So definitely make sure that you're actually using a high quality peel and stick wallpaper. You know, companies like Auto Studio, Chase and Paper are really great. Um, even Wall Blush is amazing because they're making high quality products where the adhesive is strong, but it's not so strong that it's gonna damage your property. So, you know, this paper that I have behind me, it's by a collaboration between Auto Studio and Uzo Art. These are six inch squares. There are a thousand of these and trying to line these up along this entire 30 foot hallway is incredibly difficult. But maybe, you know, if this is, a, if this is your first time doing this, you may want to consider doing something that's far more organic in its presentation. So maybe you can do something that just has a bunch of floral patterns all over. I like to think that like the messier the pattern and like the less the lines have to intersect, the easier it is to get things to line up. So try to start with a smaller project, maybe just one wall, maybe a half wall, something like that. And then as you get more comfortable with these kinds of projects, then lean into big, crazy, all encompassing rooms like how I do. There are a lot of options to choose from, and it's not permanent, so it is easy to experiment. As for Imani, she just came out with her own line of renter-friendly wallpaper through a collaboration with Auto Studio. She has great style, a if you follow our industry. Peel and stick, that's yeah, great. Right. For I renters mean, especially. Right, 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 right. My main knowledge of wallpaper when I was a kid was from watching the Three Stooges uh, try to do it. <laughs> it just, just seemed impossibly... Messy and crazy. Oh, I still don't think I could do it. <laughs> right.